Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today, we're going to learn how to make a cinemagraph. A cinemagraph is basically a still picture in which a minor and repeated movement occurs, given the illusion of an animation. This technique is very popular in Instagram, where adding a little bit of movement to your still photos can really make them stand out. And they're actually fairly simple to create. One thing you have to remember though, is when shooting footage for a cinemagraph, your camera has to stay perfectly still so I strongly recommend using a tripod. Let's try out a couple examples. In our first example, we have a runner coming across the screen with gentle movement of water in the bottom half of the frame. What we'll do is freeze the runner at the top of the screen, but keep the water moving. This example will be very simple because we have a nice wide line dividing our still and moving images. First thing we'll do is duplicate our clip. Hold down the option key on your keyboard and click and drag your clip to the right. Holding down the Option key will make a copy of your clip, basically the same thing as copying and pasting it. Now in your first clip, select the frame you want to use for your still image, and press Option F to grab a freeze frame of it. Click and drag your freeze frame over your second clip, and delete the two segments of your first clip. Depending on the length of your video clip, you may have to loop it if you want it to play longer. If that's the case, Try to make the movement in your first frame and your last frame line up as best as you can. Then once again, hold down the Option key and drag your clip over to the right to duplicate it. Next, ripple trim your freeze frame to match the length of your clip. Now let's apply a mask to our freeze frame. Open the Effects Browser and select Masks. Because we have such a wide divide between our images, using the Shape Mask will be easiest. With the clip selected, double click it to apply it to our freeze frame. Now let's position it over our still image and adjust it to separate it from our moving image. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. If you have a noticeable jump where your clips meet up, adding a cross dissolve transition can help smooth things out. Select either the end of your first clip or the start of your next clip and press Command T to add a cross dissolve to the cut. If we play it through, the jump between our two clips is gone. Let's try another clip, but this time a little more complex. In this clip, we're pouring milk from a bottle into a cup. So our bottle and the cup will be the still images, and the stream between the two will be our moving part. Let's select a small part of our clip, where the stream doesn't change much in size, and duplicate it a few times. Now let's grab a freeze frame from our clip, and place it above our timeline. We don't have a nice line to divide our images in this clip like we did in the last one, so Shape Mask isn't going to work here. Let's grab the Draw Mask, apply it to our clip, and add some control points to isolate our stream. Zoom in on your clip for more precision. And because we want everything outside the mask to be visible instead of what's inside the mask, select the Invert Mask checkbox in the Inspector. Now let's add a few cross dissolves to our moving parts, and there you have it. Making cinemagraphs is a great way to bring your still images to life, and they can be as simple or as complex as you want them to be. Play around and see what you can come up with, and leave me a link in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys create. If you like my tutorials, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. New videos release weekly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.